Hey guys, this is going to be the video on uh, MAC address cloning for your router so that you can use um, your router on networks that may not allow it uh, or have other issues like maybe if the network only allows devices that have a specific MAC address, um, I guess, whitelisted on their network. Uh, this will be kind of like a workaround to get your router to work on a network that doesn't allow routers um, other than their own. Basically... What my situation is, is I'm in university and they don't allow routers. However, their Wi-Fi network is not very, uh, it's not very stable, not great. So I'm going to use my own router um, to have a better and stable, more stable connection. Also along with that is I want to have this, because uh, I'm going to have some um, uh, Internet of Things devices. Um, and I don't want that connected to the, to the main network um, as a way to make sure that other people don't have access to the excuse me, to the devices. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go over how to do that, how to clone the MAC address, and um, some other tips and tricks uh, to make it work well as well. So uh, first thing I'm gonna have to do is I actually bought this router from Goodwill. So it was a pre-owned router. So what we're gonna need to do first is reset the router to get rid of any past network uh, credentials or anything like that so we're able to use it. So on the back of your router, you're gonna to need to go ahead and look for some things, uh, specifically the reset button, which is the red button right there. We're going to need to reset the router. So it's not plugged in right now. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. And while that is getting booted up, we oh, got that plugged in. You can very faintly see the light on it is super faint, but you can see it's turned on. So what we're gonna do while that's getting ready is I'm gonna show you how to find your laptop's MAC address. So what you're gonna to need to do is you're going to need to go to, I'm not gonna use a screen recorder for this one because you don't need to record your screen, or you don't need to access your laptop a whole lot and it's just easier and more fluid this way. So I'm just gonna to try to record the screen as best as I can on my phone. Uh, but first you need to open your Windows settings and then you come up here to network and internet as you can see, we have nothing connected right now. We're going to go to Wi-Fi and uh, adapter properties. And this right here is going to show your MAC address right here. And the reason that I'm showing you guys this now is because I'm not going to need it for myself because my router has uh, an interesting feature that will just search um, and apply the MAC address for my laptop on its own. So it'll do that automatically. So first, I'm going to go ahead and reset the router. This process is different on uh, different routers, but for me, I need to hold the button until the power light starts flashing. So let me give that a second. And does it look like it's flashing yet? There we go. Now it's starting to flash. You can see. Tap off that. Unplug it. Give it a few seconds. And go ahead and plug it back in. Wait for that to get booted back up. And in the meantime, we're just going to go ahead and, and, and wait for that. Okay, so at this point, it is back on. I went ahead and connected to the network separately um, because there is some identifying information in the university's network. So as you can see, if I hover over it, I am connected to the five gigahertz, five gigahertz network. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop on my browser and type in, this may be different um, for a lot of people. It's either going to be what it is for me, which is 192. Dot one six eight dot one dot one. Go ahead and enter. Could also be a couple of other things, such as ten dot zero dot zero dot one, which in my case is not. Um, so we're here connected to the router. Since this is um, freshly reset, there's a couple of things. I'm just going to say that I've read the terms and I don't want to send any information to them. I'm gonna go ahead and select manual configuration. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a second.
All right, let's just get some of my internet connection is down. Uh, we don't need to worry about this. That's supposed to be on purpose. Uh, we don't have it connected to ethernet yet. So I'm gonna go and log in. Okay, since this is freshly reset, the password is going to be, uh, at least in this case, just admin, all lowercase. Um, it could be different. It's either usually going to be either admin or password. You'll just have to look that up and, and figure that out for yourself, depending on what uh, model of router you have. Um, and then we're going to go and sign in. All right. And it brings us to this nice little page. Sorry if it's difficult to see. Um, this is going to be different for everybody. Uh, unless you have this specific Linksys router or a few of the other ones, this page is going to look different. Um, it's still the same general idea for a lot of routers, however. Um, so in this case, we're going to go to connectivity. It's going to open up this page. I'm going to come up here to internet settings. Now down here, um, I don't know what the original MAC address is, but this is the setting to clone the MAC address into something else so that it's not... Uh, visible as what it is on the network and be visible something different. So I'm going to go ahead and enable it. And then I'm going to click clone my PC's Mac. Now that Mac that we saw earlier is now in this, you know, box. So when I hit apply, it's going to say it's applying changes, yada, yada, yada. It's going to do that. And it's going to wait. And then um, it'll eventually apply those changes. So now excuse me now have those changes applied it is done I'm gonna go ahead and click ok now what i can do is hook up my ethernet cord it is already hooked up into the wall behind me i believe if i remember correctly yeah it's the one closest over here So you can see the internet's flashing. Once I push that in, wait a second, now it's flashing in a different color. And it'll eventually go solid. You can also see that I'm connected to the five gigahertz um, connection right there. Okay, now, internet should be good, or at least it's finishing up. Yep, now it's good, okay. So we look back here. Down here, I now have internet connection. Just to make sure. Go ahead and do a speed test. Then go ahead and run that speed test. And this is much better than what I was getting before. What I was getting before was anywhere from 10 to 50 megabits download um, and around the same for upload as well. Uh, something I've never seen before is having exceptionally better upload speeds than download speeds. It was the same on the original network as well. I'm not really sure what the deal is there, but usually I never see something like this, um, but it's pretty cool. So now we've got that. So now, theoretically, if someone were to look through the router settings on, um, or not the router settings, but the information on their own network, this should show up as a Windows laptop MAC address. It shouldn't show up as a Linksys Link router or anything like that. So it gets rid of that identifiable information. It makes it a little bit more hidden in this case. Um, another thing you can do is change the information here for, you know, the um, Wi-Fi networks. You can go ahead and change that. Uh, you can hide them, you can broadcast them, or you can turn them off directly. Uh, when I'm done finishing this up, I'll end up turning off the 2.4 gigahertz band and I'll hide this and make it a different hand password and such, but I'm not gonna do that right now because it's not really about the video. Um, but uh, here's something that is often overlooked. It's the fact that even though I'm here, right connected to this router everything's fine right if i need to connect back to the original wi-fi network it is not going to work how we want okay it's you can't have on one network two different mac or two devices that have the same mac address it's going to confuse it one of them's not going to work or they're both not going to work so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go back to settings Back to settings, right up here. We're gonna go to want to go to network and Wi-Fi. Okay. As you can see, I'm connected up here. What we're going to want to do um, 
is so in, in this case it's a little bit different you don't want to do it on the network of the router you can if you want but it's not going to make a huge difference um, what you're going to want to do is on the oh gosh hold on give me one second okay properties okay what you're going to do on the network the original network not this one but the one that this one is connected to you're going to want to go over here to wi-fi or sorry to status and you want to go to this one to whatever the original network is you're going to want to connect to it go to it and hit properties and then go down to random hardware addresses and it either on or change daily I'm just going to choose change daily because that's what I want. So basically what it's going to do, excuse me, is it's going to change the MAC address on this laptop whenever it's connected to that network. It's going to go ahead and change it, make it different. That way there's no interference between the two because this one has this one's original MAC address showing that it's a laptop. And then this one is going to change its MAC address to something else. So these MAC addresses are now different. So then they'll work. That's the basic overview of how Mac uh, address cloning works. And that'll basically keep this um, kind of sort of hidden, kind of sort of hidden from the original network. And it's going to make it, uh, uh, you know, a little bit more difficult to find it. Um, that along with hiding the Wi-Fi network um, should help do the trick.